Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson and every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Nottingham Forest up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Number 31, Nico Williams. Number 35, Lewis O'Brien. Number three, Harry. The starting 11 for Nottingham Forest then. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a front two, three central midfield players and a couple of wing backs. It's a great system when played well, but it does leave them vulnerable to switches of play. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Ben Davis starts alongside Davinson Sanchez in central defence. And in terms of the attack, Hyung Min Son plays together with Harry Kane. Thank you. Enjoy the game. It's a very attractive match in prospect, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway. Can he finish? And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. Well, as you can see, he makes it look easy in the end, but I think that's a good finish. He'll be pleased with that. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Son. Richarlison. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. And let's give credit to the defending. Aboniyi. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. Well, they might be onto something. And a harmless effort when all is said and done. Davinson Sanchez. Richarlison. Now Harry Kane. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Well, it could be on for him here. And it nestles in the back of the net. A goal for Tottenham Hotspur, who now are on level terms. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Tottenham 
So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Harry Kane. And now Perisic. It might be. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Promising move from Tottenham. And since they have the ball, a referee playing advantage here. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Corner kick played in. No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. Spot on with that tackle. Ivan Perisic. Might really be able to trouble them here. Harry Kane. Bentancourt, as clean as a whistle, that challenge. Half-time coming up, Spurs leading here. Stuart, your overall take? Well, it's been a lively first half, hasn't it? Both sides have looked dangerous, but I think they do have a bit more guile in the top third of the pitch, and that's been key to them leading at the moment. And the ruling is offside here. Harry Kane. Emerson. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Will he play it in? Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Son. Now Harry Kane. Emerson. Richarlison. Javier. Very comfortable when in possession. Kane. Richarlison. What a shocking pass, really. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, dazzling stuff from Son in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space. And his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Jesse Lingard. And Johnson now. Emerson. A really sumptuous ball. Emerson. And players waiting in the centre. Patient enough build-up. Can they carve out a chance? But a crucial intervention inside the box. Bodies forward and the break looks on.
Abonigi. Lingard. Superb block. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. And now to level the game. Oh, he's guessed correctly and saved it! Well, can they draw level here? The crowd certainly thinks so. He's driven in the corner. And he clears the danger. Lingard. It's with Joe Worrell. Crossing opportunity. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect goalkeepers to save everything at their near post, but on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better. So, back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Bentancourt on the ball, Richarlison Richarlison well diving magnificently to make sure he got there and a change for Spurs at this juncture Can someone get on the end of this? Just the clearance that was called for. Sends it back. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again. And if you are going to clear the ball, you have to get height and distance on it to give your defence time to readjust. And they don't do that. It's a poor clearance. And suddenly, the ball's in the back of the net. And the ball is moving again. 3-2. a good looking ball Abonigi I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge and it's left to the referee to decide what happens next and he'll take no further part in this game that could make things interesting Stuart well I can't believe he's done that they were coasting here it's going to make it difficult now Well, that's not how they rehearsed it on the training ground. Yeah, and I'm not sure what was going through his mind there. That was a poor decision to shoot from that distance. Javier. Son. On the ball, Richarlison. Good work to regain possession. 
in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Mongala. Well, can they open up the defence here? Putting his body on the line. Nicely cut out. Harry Kane. On the ball, Richarlison. An effective challenge. Ten minutes to go then. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Lucas. Doughty defending to win the ball back. We can get more details on that injury situation from our man pitch side, Jeff Shreves. Jeff? Well, there's some real concern looks from the bench, I have to tell you, because he's landed right on top of his elbow, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. Can he make it count? And touched onto the frame of the goal. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. They get forward, but time is very much against them here. Being egged on by the crowd. Lingard. And a goal to level it up late on here. Just look at the reaction. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Again here, this has been quite the roller coaster ride. And here now come Tottenham. A goal at this late stage could settle the issue. Lucas in position at the back post. Well, the keeper wasn't fooled by it at all, in actual fact. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level, and extra time is coming up. 